Hello folks, Jason Chrisman, JC's Bees, your Central Ohio beekeeper. You know there's been some huge news break in the beekeeping world in the last week. And I wanted to throw my two cents into the mix. So first, let's discuss what's happened in the last week. I've got an article here from Bee Culture. I'm going to pull it up and I'm going to read a little bit of it to you. Bee Culture Magazine. Severe and sudden losses of managed honeybees across the nation. Recent losses well over 50% with a combined financial loss of over $139 million. Let's say that again. $139 million. As commercial beekeepers in the USA inspect their bees after winter to transport over 90% of the nation's managed honeybees to pollinate California almonds, they are discovering alarming colony losses. These losses are severe, broad, and may impact food security through inadequate pollination services. Survey results are still accumulating, but information gathered from 234 beekeepers found average recent losses well over 50%, with a combined financial loss of over $139 million. Combined with losses during other times of the year, this additional loss puts many beekeepers at a loss rate of 70 to 100% over the last 12 months. Ouch, folks. Ouch. So they're comparing this to the colony collapse disorder in 2006-2007. So that got me thinking, you know. Um, right now they're speculating what could be happening with the bees. Why are they dying in such large numbers? Could it be varroa mites? That's our number one contributor to pathogens and diseases that affect our bees. And during this slow time of the year, winter and fall, those pathogens and diseases, they ramp up more and the colony isn't able to pull ahead and they die. Sure, that's a possibility. Could it be that in the fall of last year, they gathered some some poisons from the flowers, maybe some herbicides or some pesticides or fungicides and brought it back to the colony and they've been eating it all winter long and that's why they're sick. Sure, that's a possibility because here in the USA we spread poison everywhere. It's just the way we, we work and it's sad, but that's how it is. Um, that's definitely a possibility. But I have a third idea, suggestion, um, that I want to throw into the mix and, and maybe it's Maybe it's uh, a little bit far-reached, but I think we should consider everything when it comes to the health of our bees and our, our food supply. So the other day I was sitting here and I got to thinking, you know, there's a bird flu. It's all over the news. So after thinking about this, I went to Google and I said, uh, can bees get the bird flu? And this is what Google told me. Bird flu can affect honeybees and the two can spread the virus to each other. Oh boy, this isn't good. So you mean to tell me that our bees can get and spread the bird flu? That is not what I wanted to read. So from there, it left me with other questions. Um, I know colony collapse disorder was in 2007 range, so I went to Google and I said, Was there a bird flu in 2007 in the U.S.? Yes, there was an outbreak of avian influenza A and poultry in the United States during 2006-2007. So that's kind of scary. Um, there was a bird flu when we had CCD. Is that a coincidence, or is that trying to tell us something? I don't know, but I think we ought to do a little bit more research to figure out exactly what is going on with our bees. So just to confirm, I asked Google one more question. And that is, what years did bees die in large numbers? And Google told me in 2006-2007 colony collapse disorder. So you can see, everything does line up. There was a colony collapse disorder, 2006-2007 range. There was a bird flu. Right now we've got bees dying in large numbers. There's a bird flu. Could it be a coincidence? I don't know. But I do have to think back to... 2006 when that bird flu started I remember as somebody that also has poultry um, that free range our yard I told the wife I said you know we should probably take down our our uh, bird feeder for the wild birds 
and we didn't want to do that because we love to watch the birds but I'm watching out the window and I'm watching I'm watching a bird come into the bird feeder and pick through the food kick some food out on the ground maybe poop maybe pick through some more food maybe poop again and then here comes my chickens eat that food off the ground right where the bird just pooped and I'm like you know this is a good way to spread disease sickness and I don't want that for my poultry so we removed all of the wild bird feeders from our yard and we haven't had any since so now I'm wondering did I save more than just my chickens by taking down those bird feeders um, did I save my bees I don't know but it makes me wonder and I would love for somebody with the know-how to include the bird flu into this research and uh, let's not just limit it to sprays, chemicals, and varroa mites. Let's, let's consider everything and bird flu could be one of those possibilities. So now let's think about commercial beekeepers. In the off season they take their bees out of the orchard setting where they're doing their pollination and they take them out usually to a royal area large open fields and this is called an out yard. They'll leave their bees there until it's time to gather them, collect them all, put them all back on a semi and start the pollination service all over again. So you got bees out in this rural area where birds are flying and defecating daily. I don't think it's too far-fetched to think that maybe the bird flu is a possibility. So I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the video description. Do you think I'm crazy? Do you think it's a possibility? Should we consider all of the factors before it's too late? I think we should. Maybe you think I'm crazy, folks, but I wanted to get my two cents out there. Um, i seen the news going around about the bees, and it's got me concerned. We need our pollinators, and uh, I think um, to help fix the problem, we need to get some suggestions out there. We need to be able to filter through some different ideas, and to help support the bees, I'm throwing out my two cents. Should we consider the bird flu? Maybe it's crazy, but that's my thoughts. Um, maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? Prove me wrong for the life of the bees. Please do. Um, so thanks for watching today. I'd love to hear your thoughts, and you can leave those down in the comments of this video. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. And if you want to see this pretty face again, you can even hit the subscribe and hit the little bell so you get notified when new videos come out. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.